Montreal conductor Yannick Nézé-Séguin will become the next director of the Met. It is one of the top opera houses in the world. The 43-year-old Canadian maestro is considered a music visionary, becoming just the third music director in the Met's illustrious history. I am so thrilled to celebrate the beginning of Yannick Nézé-Séguin's tenure as the music director of the Metropolitan Opera. Thank you. Music was part of my life always. À deux ans, Yannick écoutait de la musique qu'il demandait sans être. Oui, encore, 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 encore. Now calling Maestro Nézé Seguin to the pit, please. Maestro to the pit, please. Five years old, Yannick was studying Jesus at school. Jesus, Jesus. Nobody was asking him to draw Jesus. Yannick aimait imiter le pape Jean-Paul II avec les habits. <laughs> I fell in love with music when I started singing in a choir. And not only music, conducting. This is what I wanted to do. He stopped drawing Jesus and he drew orchestras, orchestras. He saw himself on the podium. He had discovered his career. He had encore l'air très jeune à 44 ans. Imagine à 25 ans, he had l'air d'un petit garçon. Le concierge voulait pas le laisser entrer dans la salle. <laughs> Before my German debut in Frankfurt, I was very nervous. Il m'a dit, il y a une chose que je peux faire, c'est de maîtriser ma partition parfaitement. We opened the score for the first time, and it's really complete silence. But this is the only way to train your ear to imagine what you're going to hear. Dialogue des Carmélites was one of my dreams to conduct. My Catholic upbringing makes this opera resonate even more for me. The genius of Poulenc is making these characters so real without negating their religious backgrounds. It shouldn't sound it's, it's choir choir. Still. It's a real yeah, prayer. It's yeah. All their fear, love, comfort, longing, it's all in that prayer. Beautiful. It's a big deal communicating the new sound that we're trying to acquire now. And we want to be worthy of the great scores. We should strive for perfection, but there's a beauty of never quite reaching it. I'm full of gratitude for living my dream of the young boy.